Hey! Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our NASCAR 21 Ignition Career Mode. And we're going to go back to back days of uploading this career mode for the first time and I don't know how long. I think we are. We got one heck of an episode potentially on the way because we're going to the Southern 500 here. Uh, or the Goodyear 400, sorry, not the Southern 500, but nonetheless we are at Darlington Raceway coming off of Kyle Busch's first win of the season as we're down in 8th in the standings. But we're locked into the playoffs stages are in the game now as you guys know they um don't work the greatest they they somewhat work but they definitely are not correct which is right on par with uh, how nascar 21 ignition is unfortunately but uh we're gonna try out uh the darlington darlington race here for the goodyear 400 and let's head to the track okay we got the small spoiler on the car today here in darlington will it change the way the car drives absolutely not but uh, I, I've never, this is my first time actually driving this track in NASCAR 21. I haven't even done it in online from my memory. So uh, I don't really know the breaking points. And yeah, that's not going to work there. But we got turn one and two down pretty well. But nonetheless, I felt like it was an okay lap. Let's see, where does that put us? It's going to be, uh, I'd say probably like a 27th or something. Oh, P5, only a couple times off. Look at that. I will take that for sure. There we go. Okay. Good starting spot. That's a beautiful trophy. Why their eyes always look so stupid. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Here we go. Starting P5 in uh, this uh, Goodyear 400. That is underway. We made contact with Kyle Busch coming to the start here. As we're going to be side by side. Through one and two. That was not a good drive. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. That's... We're okay. We're okay. Side by side with Kyle down the back. Down into turn three up the inside of Kozlowski. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We're okay, though. That was nearly a moment. Oh, my God. All right. Settle in here to P5. I think the main goal of this, of this race specifically... At Darlington and NASCAR 21 is uh, just surviving. And what the heck are we doing here? The AI checked up a lot out of turn two. I nearly got my first Darlington stripe of the uh, race, but kept it out of the wall. Out of turn four. Yeah, they, they're they okay right here. Yeah, they got good speed down the straightaway into the corners. But let's see if they do it again. Out of turn two, they checked up tremendously. I don't know if they'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the heck is that? What are we doing? It's moments like that where you just question what the heck happened in the design process. You know, when they put out that video the other day explaining how the AI, you know, they're meant to be aggressive as possible. Well, aggression really isn't just slamming on the brakes on the exit of turn two at Darlington. Also, they talked about authenticity being the reason that we don't have a fuel gauge and tire wear. Okay. Well, then, why do I have my lap count, my stage count, um, as well as Kyle Bush? Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to explain something, Kyle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And please, please, please just let me live. Thank you. But as I was saying, we shouldn't be able to see our speed then. Okay. Take away our speed. If you want to go with the excuse of the authenticity being why we don't have a fuel gauge and tire wear, why can I see the speed of my car? Answer me that. Because drivers in real life don't know the speed of their car. They can't see that on their dash. Why can I see the leaderboard? Can't see that in real life either. So uh, I, I still feel like the whole authenticity answer being the reason we don't have a fuel gauge and tire wear uh, was just a really lazy excuse. That's That was the main problem I had with that whole town hall Q&A was that specific answer. I mean, obviously, it, I wasn't a huge fan of the whole thing with the answers and, uh, and the questions that they chose to use. Um, but my main thing was that excuse right there just felt so blatantly... Um, it felt like a blatant, a blatant lie to me personally, and I feel like it's kind of being proven as we go on. Still, I, I gotta say, I mean, this game looks so good uh, when you have the ability to 
set the resolution settings to the highest capabilities on every little settings. I mean, this game looks incredible. Hands down, uh, the best looking NASCAR game we've had to date. But that's all, the, that's all the game really has had going for it in a positive note, right? As, oh, there's the first Darlington Stripe. No. Oh, I'm still in it. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Kozlowski might try to look up the inside here. No, we're going to be fine. Here comes Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch as well as we go down into turn one. Coming to four to go in the stage this time by Kozlowski's still trying to take a peek, but he's going to check up right there. Yep, look at that. That is so silly. Oh, that's... We go all these laps, and then we go three in a row hitting that wall. I'm pretty confident I have damaged some of the... Maybe suspension or something. I think, yeah, we're going to have to pit here at the end of the stage. That was not good. It's just not turning in the center. It just kind of floats. It just goes straight. But look at this, even when I think, I'm pretty sure the car's damaged, I mean, we still haul the mail because they just slam on the brakes on the exit of turn two as I really went fast into there, but got on the brakes in time. Yeah, okay, it feels okay there. I'm still going to do a precautionary pit stop, I think. I don't want to take a risk going into stage two on that right front. Final lap of stage one underway. Lap 13, so yeah, 13, I think stage 2, uh, yeah, should be about the same, right? Um, Kozlowski's still behind us. I mean, look how much ground, though. Like, we, wow, we might even get to William Byron into turn 3. We were nearly a second behind at the start of the lap because they're so terrible in turn 2. Oh, yeah, you can definitely feel it. Yeah, it just, that car just tries to go straight head-on into the wall. Harvick wins the stage over Truex. I crossed the line. We have cars... Oh, I just... What was that? It sounded like I just slammed into something. But we have cars in the pit lane, which is really weird. Um, surprisingly, this time, all the stage points and stuff is correct. So let's see if it continues into stage two. But um, yeah, I saw Almorola and them on the pit lane. But we're going to come into the pit lane now. Okay, so we're going to get back underway here from P36. It is, but I'm very salty right now that that happened like come on that was all the doing of my ai being stupid by just from the sounds of it or i would assume just driving straight into the back of someone but there's wow i did not oh my goodness that was a checkup i am so sorry i did not anticipate that but look at the left side too it's damaged so uh we must have maybe did my, did my ai just yeet it to the inside wall call it a day or what i don't know but three wide here with uh, Rick Ware Racing, who runs all three manufacturers, I think, in one event. Actually, I think they just do Chevy and Ford, right? Which is still like, what the heck? Whoa! What was that, Eric? Goodness me, he's a wrecking ball. He is a literal wrecking ball. He's over here just trying to clean us out. I'm just going to give McLeod a nice push down into turn one. Oh, he moves up. Oh, God. Oh. My bad, sir. That was, you know, I just complained about Eric Jones, and then I go and do something like that. Yeah, the caution comes out for that. Um, let's stay out. Let's stay out. We don't need to pit. I swear, thank God, I thought I was about to get just rear-ended. Yeah, that was my bad on uh, the McLeod incident. Um, I just sailed it off in there, took him right out. I'm, su I'm actually pretty surprised the caution came out in, in a good way. That Obviously, it should have been a caution, but... We know how the cautions are in this game. They're better. They're getting better, I think. I think what we're doing here, I think what I'll title this video is like baby steps forward or something because we're going forward with this game, but it's not enough. You know, it's very, 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 very small steps and they confirmed themselves, Motorsport Games did, um, that they're only going to support fixing this game until about the midway through 2021 because don't forget NASCAR 22 uh, Ignition is going to have to come out in uh, later in the year. So they're probably going to stop putting updates out for this game. And I would assume, you know, May, June area. And I mean, you look at how oh my goodness, what a send from Joey Case. What are you doing? But you look at where this game has come from in October, late October to now in January. It hasn't come far at all. You know, I mean, we've of course, picked up a few new features and stuff, but we really haven't gotten very far. The game's still 
not anywhere near as playable as any other NASCAR title from recent years, from Heat 2, Heat 3, Heat 4, Heat 5. Um, so you already know, they're, they're not going to get very far here in these first um, six months of the year. And now only five months pretty much left as we're at the end of January. It's the 26th. So, yeah, it's, it's annoying. I think that they should stop focusing on 21 sooner and just make sure they focus on the next game of 22 and make sure they get that one right because they can't have another screw up. They know that. They can't. Motorsport games cannot screw up ever again um, as long as they have this license because it will all, already the reputation has plummeted because of the release of Ignition. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it would be like the first release they've had that they've been the developer team of, If I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So... The reputation already is not very good. So if they have another release that's really bad, oh my. Uh, that's all I got to say is, oh my, it's going to be something. So they know they can't screw up at all um, from this point on. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, especially with the NASCAR genre. I mean, I mean, of course, they got the IndyCar license as well. It'll be interesting to see what they've got planned for that. Oh, no, 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 no. That was, oh, no. There's a caution. Oh, that ends the stage as well. Last time, I, I, I caused a caution that ended the stage as well in um, the last episode. So there's the stage order. I do like that it shows the overall stage order. Uh, over, overall stage points, sorry. But they should also have a column that shows the amount of points they got in stage 2, I think. But Kevin Harvick sweeps the first two stages. We got 7 overall. Uh, we got to pit and fix a car, unfortunately. Sorry, boys. Yeah, that was my bad. Uh, went into the corner a little bit hot. Okay. P37. We're still on the lead lab, at least, so they got that part. Oh. That's the second time it's done that at the start of stage three. I swear. I... Okay, the car feels okay. I think we're fine. But what the heck? Come on. Other than, you know, these couple incidents that I have caused myself out of my own stupidity. Um, oh, boy. Hello. Uh, once again, it's still... a there's a step in the right direction. We're getting somewhere, but we're not. When I say we're getting somewhere, I'm not saying we're getting far because we're still the, the game is is still in a, a very embarrassing, embarrassing state. You know, it's not it's not in a state where I could say I would recommend anybody to buy it, even if it was 75% off. Oh my god, that was that was so silly. That was so silly. That was all on me. I just sailed it off in there. We're having the choke part of the video. Hey, man, with the chainsaw, did you miss me? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I didn't think so. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not concerned yet, guys. We still have, we still have time. I that was, that was stupid. I know, uh, but it was Cody Ware and it's a Rick Ware car, so I said let's go for it. But we have time here. We're still on the lead lap. We got fresh tires. I think we win the race. I'm calling it now. We're going to win this race. I'm going to have a charge, a legendary charge through the field. We just about nearly, after saying that, got just hooked into the outside wall. KO just about. Thank goodness that didn't happen. Around the outside of the seven, split the middle between uh, Lejoie, Corey Lejoie, and Quinn Half into turn one. Here we go. Oh, I got to get clear. Thank you so much for that checkup. Oh, Ryan, what are you doing? If they didn't check up, we were probably going to just merge up into the side of the 20 and we were going to be dead. But we're okay. I don't know how Joey Gase is running in the top 37, but we're going to get clear of him. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was close. Sorry, Brad. Go to the inside. Not going to happen. Oh, man. We're not far off. We still got five laps as well. Although, something ain't right. Because I look at the lap count and it says 40 or 44, which is five laps to go. But stage three is telling me we got four laps to go. So which one's right? Nonetheless, we're almost into the top five. Down the back straight away. Into turn three. Up the inside of the number three of Austin Dillon. I don't know which lap count's correct. Oh god, we got clear. There we go. Opportunity up the inside. Oh, oh, Denny. Goodness me, I just about ran him over. It says we're coming up to the final lap of stage three. And even in the dash, it says, yeah, coming up to the final lap of the stage, but it's well coming to two to go on the race. So let's find out. I don't know what it's going to be. And 
Yeah, there's two laps to go. There's, yeah, there's definitely two laps to go. And we're going to win this race because I'm just going to cruise around here on my fresher tires. We got like 35 lap fresher tires, I, f I think. So see you later. Peace. Back around here one more time and we're in great shape. As, yeah, I mean, look at the gap we're pulling here on Harvick. 2.2, 2.4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3.1. Oh, 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 that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we can have one scrape there coming to the line. We're going to come through to win because we just were smart and the AI weren't on the pit strategy. And boom, second win of the season. Unfortunately, we have yet to win a race on uh, pace. We've had fuel strategy and tire strategy come in both times. Um, but hey. I'll take the win as we look at the rest of the finishing order on your screen. Al Marola all the way down there in 34th, but he was a lap down. Larson DNF'd. So did Busher, McDowell, and Chastain. They all had mechanical failures, but never even saw them have issues. Okay, there you have it. We win. Uh, we're still P8 there, as I don't know why that doesn't put us up towards the top, you know, with the more wins. But uh, nonetheless, we got 10 playoff points now. And, you know, we... Went head on into the wall. I think two or three times came back in and fixed it and still won the race after going head on into the wall multiple times at a really high rate of speed. But hey, it's an authentic experience. Uh, but nonetheless, reputation is it, reputation is not looking great right now. Uh, Hendrick Motorsports at least is going up. So we have a good opportunity to get with a good team like Hendrick. Roush Fenway is way, way down. Uh, our legacy, of course, is up to 66 now. I mean, we've won two races. We got two poles. I don't remember where those poles happened. Um, but other than that, not much to it here. You look at the contracts. We've still got 24 races. I think it's what a a full season contract, if I remember correctly. So, nonetheless, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. In the next one, we are headed to Dover. Then finally, we get to have some fun after Dover. We go to Circuit of the Americas. Then we go to Charlotte. That's going to be miserable. Uh, then we have Sonoma. So we got some road courses coming up here. And that's what I personally am looking forward to the most. So, uh, nonetheless, that does it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.